Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. The first one is DJI releases the Mini 4 Pro. We also have a possible country of origin ban for the DOT. We have Zipline getting FAA approval to fly and beyond visual line of sight, and then also a new uh, Pilot Institute partnership. Let's get to it. And first up this week is the new DJI Mini 4 Pro. You may have seen our video in the last few days and probably a lot of other videos about this drone, but the new drone has a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor like its predecessor. It's capable of 12 or 48 megapixel photos, uh, 4K at 60 frames per second, uh, 4K at 100 frames per second in the slow motion mode. It's got night mode, active, active track 360, uh, omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, D-log, waypoints, many, many other things. Uh, I'm pretty impressed actually with what DJI came up with, especially in the mini package. Those are There's a lot of features in here that we're not used to seeing uh, in the mini package. Flight time remains largely the same as the batteries are compatible between the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 4 Pro, uh, even though the small battery to be noted is uh, a little bit heavier on the Mini 4. Uh, if you actually put the uh, older batteries in the new drone, the smaller ones, uh, the drone is actually 251 grams. We mentioned that in our video, but I think a lot of people missed it. If you'd like to learn more about the drone, make sure that you check out the reviews and then the uh, beginner's guide that we put out and get all the information that you need. All right, next up this week is not a great story. Uh, another bill in the US House of Representatives proposes a country of origin ban again on drones and drone usage. Amendment 1155 to HR 4366 would cut out a DOT grant awardees from using uh, certain types of drones due to country of origin. And this could be you if you have DOT contracts. It doesn't necessarily apply to um, just the the government. So this ban would affect public safety, municipal governments, civil drone operators uh, who fly in support of surveying, planning, airspace integration, development, and inspection. That's a direct quote from the document. Uh, we think that there is a much better solution. We've mentioned this before, but we're going to say it again, uh, to any of these uh, country of origin ban bills. And it's to actually set a set of standards that any and all drone can be tested for and uh, use in critical situation. Uh, that way we don't have to uh, basically go after a specific country. If you're one who will be affected by this ban, make sure that you reach out to your representative. Uh, we've included a link to the DAA, the Drone Advocacy Alliance, uh, down uh, below in the description on how you can get involved and uh, help this get stopped. All right, continuing on this week is Zipline, who is the fourth to get a BV loss beyond visual line of sight waiver. Now, Zipline will operate around Salt Lake City in Utah and then Bentonville, Arkansas. Zipline will use a new detect and avoid system that offers real-time airspace monitoring and then removes the need for having visual observers. Uh, the latest authorization changes this requirement and will actually allow Zipline to operate truly beyond visual line of sight, which is one of the first package delivery service to actually do so. Uh, Zipline has over 50 million miles flown commercially, delivering items primarily outside the United States. States uh, in Africa. Uh, data collected by the Sense and Avoid systems will be sent to the FAA for furthering the integration of UAS into the national airspace. Now, in a way, it's pretty exciting for everyone as it means that the FAA is actually actively looking into pursuing BV loss operation, but I certainly hope it's not going to be just for the few. And finally, we have a new partnership to announce with Axon Air. Uh, Axon Air is a public safety solution for wireless streaming, flight logs, reporting, and also evidence management. Uh, we've partnered with Axon to provide training for public safety agencies. So we're really excited about this. You can check out the article below if you would like to know more. And before we go, we'll be in Colorado at the uh, Colorado Drone Show in Fort Collins next week. Uh, that's happening on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, the event is free to the public on Saturday and Sunday. And we'll be doing a uh, first flight for people who have uh, never flown a drone before. So come and meet the team. Uh, we'll have uh, four people out there and we're pretty excited. So in the meantime, you have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. All right, folks, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Mini 4 Pro and basically all the different features and how you're going to get started with this drone.